gosh, I'm so late. Oh my gosh, I'm so, 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 so late. I'm so late. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to post quickly. I need to post quickly. Where is it? 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 There we go. I just need to, I just need to post on Discord. seen my post, you might know that today I have an ear microphone. Well, I actually have the same microphone I had, except it's, um, it's, uh, it's been set up differently and it has ears. Yeah. Hello, Rasta. Hello, Danny. How are you guys doing? How's, how's your day been? Mine has been very, very busy today. It's been extremely busy. But um, I managed to um, get my stuff together and actually properly prepare for the stream. Which wasn't easy. I had a lot of issues with this microphone. Oh, yes, also, <laughs> I added redeems, and now they actually work. Yay. So there's a bunch of stuff that works, even though it's an ASMR stream. Um, a lot of stuff is muted, just so, you know, um, no one gets their ears exploded. Because we wouldn't want that to happen, right? <laughs> and yeah, you can even head back me. A few stuff might be um, on cooldown because I was testing it all last minute. That's why I was a little late. So sorry about that. Lurking on you for a bit, plus I'm early. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Griffin. Hello. Nice. Nice catching me so early. <laughs> uh, I used to, I remember, like, the first time I, like, ear microphones became a thing. Because for the longest time it was just either like two stereo microphones, as I use right now, or um, or like those Yeti mics, those blue Yeti mics um, that had like a stereo feature, feature to them. And um, then slowly the, those ear mic like, uh, videos started popping up like ASMR videos and I got hooked on ear tapping and they, there were so little videos of that most people just went straight up to like um, like ear massage ear massage is okay It's a nice sound and all, but I always prefer those like taps. They were pretty good. And uh, one other thing that these ears allow me to do. Sounds pretty cons convincing. Oh my gosh, someone's walking. Sorry about that. There's some squeaking door outside. 
I hope it wasn't too loud. Uh, one would think at 11 p.m. there would be no one walking around the house, but you know, we can have everything. It is kind of convincing, right? The sound of um, ear covering. My quality is really good thus far. Yeah, the funny thing is, this is the same microphone. I didn't change the microphones themselves. I just added. Um, that there's a whole story to it because I I decided I would try to find silicon ears. And they were pretty hard to get, actually. <laughs> um, I managed to find ones that were made as display pieces. These are supposed to be used for displaying, like, jewelry or, um, like, medical stuff. Because it's silicone, so you can put stuff inside of it and pierce it. So, yeah, it's... Uh, they have, they are pretty convincingly eerie. <laughs> and they sound, from what I hear, they sound very similar to the kind they put on those ear microphones. Though most of those have like um, an added pigment to make them darker. I think having them light is um, can be helpful when cleaning. of material all over the place um, like I tried to stop all of the um, all of the springs on the mic arm from ringing but it's it still can give some unwanted sound you can't really uh, remove it completely that's why a lot of people, from at least from what I saw, when they use those ear microphones, they use like these very simple, um, either handheld, um, monopods or like uh, just tripods, and they put them on like a soft surface, like a, like a bed or a pillow, which is fine. can fall off. Oh no. Uh, for a second, I even considered um, adding like a camera to show the mic, but then I realized I have to, I have to get pretty close to them. So that would not work. matters, right? Where did they find the rats? Where did you find the nut? It's 
threw all of them away. Especially for the stream. Oh my god. All the animals in my house are going crazy for some reason. My dog is hitting the door. My rats are just... Oh, and someone's walking behind my door. So humans are going crazy as well. Sorry, guys. Yeah, both animal and human craze. And there's like talking. Oh my gosh, I wish I. I wish I. I lived alone. <laughs> would be so much easier to make these streams. <laughs> Having to deal with this is just a pain. But yeah. Oh my gosh, still talking. I think I would have to install like those um, lights that like radio stations have, you know, like on air, <laughs> like above my door, and maybe then it could kinda help to deal with the stuff. But you know, it's just, just. I mean, it's still not that bad. I've I've watched some. Um, it was a um, Japanese ASMR streamer who streamed on YouTube actually, and um, she she lived with her with her parents in like a small apartment, and if you didn't know, walls in Japan are extremely thin. So she had to basically just go like this every single time. Because, cause like, there was a lot of talking and stuff, and it, it was unbearable. But uh, the streams were pretty good still. It didn't really bother me that much. So I hope it doesn't bother you guys as well. Oh my gosh, rats. What are you doing, rats? So yeah. Oh, also, if, if you haven't seen or anything but I think it's pretty cool I really liked doing this stream it was a lot of fun and um, editing it was a pain like like an actual pain uh, it took me like three hours to edit it down from 30 minutes to 18 minutes and I still have like um, three fourths stream left to <laughs> to work with so there's there's still gonna be at least part two possibly part three or maybe part four uh, I just couldn't do it in one sitting oh my gosh I okay 
we should be we should be good now. They closed the door, so it should be okay. You got power though. Crazy anime string. Yeah. <laughs> I have the power of friendship. I have the power of God and anime on my side. sitting pretty fine, Takiro, hello. The ears are doing really good, actually. They sound kind of like the ones on the on the true ear mics, you know. But what makes me, um, heartbeat, <laughs> sort of. I just wasn't used to how realistic it sounded. I had like this phantom feeling in my ears that like the um, ear touching, I could oh, I could almost feel it on my ears. Why do you have these redeems on ASMR? Because I can, and I couldn't, but now I can. looks really good with these shaders. Actually ended up 
washing the ears. Take it off. <laughs> but just to be um, comfy around them because um, I noticed that they were like covered in hair of some sort. <laughs> and um, that was very um, unpleasant. <laughs> very unpleasant. Sounded so bad. Leak. Uh, no, I'm not gonna like. You can you can see I I made like a like a, in preparation for people asking me to lick the ears. I made something here, here. You can see. I have seven subs right. my elf ears it would be like that's how I would feel <laughs> with, with this hand oh no oh no I don't want this hand anywhere near my ears N no no <laughs> I, I don't want that that hand is kind of weird Take it off. 
ASMR is not sexual. It can be combined with sexual stuff if they if someone wants to, but it's it's not inherently. Because you don't listen to me, Takira. You have some, you have some, some hidden agenda. against the, the ears to be able to do this. So that's another reason why I decided to wash them. Because <laughs> I didn't want to get like some weird disease. <laughs> it's nice hearing you laugh though. Very wholesome. setting if you want to imagine how I'm set up in like now if, if you want to know how the mic is set up well it's actually set up the way you can see on the video so I'm behind you yes I'm behind you I am right behind you and I'm approaching rapidly with my fingers of it. I can't do it because uh, the way the cables go, it's um, it's really hard to do. Because one of the cables is very short and I would have to like unplug them and reroute them. So I can't really do that. better because when I talk 
talk to the right ear, I hear myself in the right ear. And when I talk to the left ear, I hear myself in the left ear. And if I turned it on the other way around, so that I had your right ear on my left side, it would confuse the heck out of me. inside the ears this is how it sounds inside the ears I'll watch the rest of this on YouTube if possible yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna post the archive um, on Sunday as I usually do Instead of red, but if you block them, I'm gonna block them if you don't relax. And that's a, that's a promise. I'm gonna do that again if you don't relax. Well, unless you want that for relaxing, then I'll, I'll make an exception.
space. You know that in space no one can hear you scream. <laughs> That's a weird phrase to use during ASMR. In the space no one can hear you scream. to actually watch um, a male uh, ASMR streamer, a Japanese streamer that he did a lot of ear tapping and stuff. He was really good at it. But then he started doing those um, weirdly questionable role plays. Um, and they were aimed at um, at women, and I was like, I was just not comfy with that anymore. <laughs> and uh, shortly after, he stopped uploading. I think his last upload was probably like five years ago. So he's gone. He's gone. But I just want to. Have you know that I'm not against um, like male ASMR artists at all? I mean, my one of my favorite ASMR artists of all time is um, Sasha ASMR Dimitri. It feels like, but he's like on a different freaking level guy is like a legend. He doesn't really upload anymore. Is he Polish too? No, no. Uh, he's Australian. Though I know the name. The name doesn't really connect. I didn't know his all, whole life story, but he, he lives in Australia. like a studio especially for for ASMR he used to use um, the same type of microphone that I'm using right now but like the pro tier of it because this is like the budget tier and he used like the higher level type of this kind of microphone I'll do some Japanese. I want to make it a tradition because it makes me study. Okay.
that was true at least because I know for myself that I I never kind of forget oh hello Beller and Chicky Bricky hello playing but that would be overselling it um, I did cosplay once or twice but honestly it was mostly my friend that cosplayed I was just taking pictures but we had like a whole um, photo project around stalker It was doing pretty well, actually, but um, we just didn't really have time, and we kind of just kind of got bored of it, I think, in the end. And you know, like, attaching yourself to a franchise when you don't have the rights to it was um, turn it, turn it out to be, like, more of an issue than an asset in the end. It was fun to interact with like the stalker uh, fans and stuff, but it, it definitely brought some issues with it too. Like I had pictures, but I couldn't sell prints of them, even though I took them and my friend took his time to create his own costume and we couldn't even monetize it in any way because it would be iffy because we, you know we called our project we, we used the stalker name in, our, in the name of our project which was a huge mistake Yeah. Crazy, right? I mean, they've been like building up throughout the month. I'm I'm extremely appreciative for any sort of support, especially now when um you know, the financial situation is what it is. And I I can't really Really buy everything I need for the stream. I just I have to limit myself a little because Poland is in a very bad spot right now financially. We we don't know what the future will bring. I'm even scared because I am in talks for making a life to D model. And I'm kind of scared because I, I have like a um, separate pool of money that I sat, you know, I collected uh, put away to be able to afford the model. And I can afford it, but I'm just wondering if, if everything goes the way it's going, won't I need that money? And now I'm kind of scared of actually commissioning my model. 
um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's a really crappy situation. I just hope it all um, just gets better in time. myself with um, with a monster because I was um, oh my gosh I was I was very uh, very busy today like I had to stay after hours and then I had to go to a store to help my uh, parents or something and um, after that I stole the stuff and uh, yeah I was just I was just collapsing so I popped uh, a monster and uh, yeah I'm I'm feeling decently well it helped a little I also took a nap but I only slept for like an hour worth it but depending on the situation oh my gosh <sighs> troublemaker oh my gosh thank you so much for the gifted sub Baller, you are a <laughs> you are a subscriber now <laughs> thank you so much trouble oh my gosh We're just applying double standard to what? What am I? What am I applying a double standard to? We're tired, and you still stream. No, I. I was tired, but I I, I charged myself with an energy drink. But on the other hand, I would not suggest anyone to drink an energy drink instead of going to sleep. I'm um, <laughs> I'm damaging myself for uh, because I want to. responsibility for it. You know, it's like, it's a similar thing to how people who like alcohol should not um, say that you should drink, right? Yeah, sorry. 
<laughs> Sorry, take it off. It's um, sadly it's manual. <laughs> so it it uh, there might be a slight delay. <laughs> there we go. Shoop. 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 Sorry, troublemaker. I was I got too much into talking. widget that I could use but it's um it's it, it turns into like this bar kind of like this microphone thing and that wouldn't work in this context is that they came in different sizes for some reason. They were supposed to be identical, but one is bigger and more floppy, and the other one is like smaller and stiff. Trouble. <laughs> Trouble, stop. Uh, thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much for the for the for the support. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Troublemaker. Thank you so much, Troublemaker. them again, I'll definitely tell them who gave them the sub. No worries. And if um, and if they see the VOD, they're gonna know. <laughs> they're gonna know. They're gonna know. I will not let it go unnoticed. single ear ear massage and like switch between channels as in ears so they don't get red treats for gifting subs though still so far from 50k points mm -hmm. you'll kind of get her soon but I need to do um, what 
I will probably be completely redesigning my UI soon. Well, I say soon, relatively soon. So I'll probably make it so that um, the 50k redeems are show up more often. it's a different kind, you know, it's a different kind. I think I might have it set up on like the uh, stream elements overlay. It's not the kind that I use everywhere else. something that um, Suvi must have added to the uh, Vinyan. What the heck? <laughs> I didn't know that's a thing. I'm 
mean it's pretty cool, but <laughs> okay, Col color me surprised. I didn't, I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> it's really funny though. Oh, Balor, you're back. Um, you might notice that you are a subscriber now. You are part of the rat family now. A one rat, yeah. <laughs> and it is all thanks to Troublemaker. Bouncing rat. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this option so much. <laughs> did you see that? Did, did you did you see that the flying Shizu just? <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. I really like this. video reaction again. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I don't know if you remember, I think it was on my um, affiliate celebration. <laughs> and uh, we started watching ghost videos. After I was done with all the stuff that was planned, we just sat there for like three hours and watched ghost movies, ghost videos. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Most of them were, were like ridiculous and I had so much fun. I really want to do like this, um, like this very long stream again because I, I haven't done one in a very very long time. says it in my Twitch notification. You see, Trouble, you didn't put on gloves and you left a, a handprint on your gift. <sighs> Did you look into the games I posted, the train? Spider train. Yeah, I. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I might try it because it's like. Um, I watched. Um, oh my gosh, what, what's the. I can't remember the name of the YouTuber who does like um, first person shooter reviews. G Man? I think he's, he's called G Man. Um, he did a review of that uh, today, I think. I don't know if it was uploaded today or yesterday, but I watched it today. And um, it seems to be pretty cool, actually. And it's pretty short, so I could possibly, if I was, if 
I was doing well, I could possibly finish it in one day, in one stream, which could be pretty cool to do. No, it's fine, Takira. My arachnophobia only extends to real spiders. Uh, computer spiders don't really do stuff for me. They don't really scare me that much. Because I know that some people react to all sorts of spiders, like even if it's like a drawing or, or, um, or like an in-game model. Because mm -mm, there were there was like a huge thing where people started replacing the. Because I don't know if you played Skyrim, like you know. But like at the very beginning, well, I don't know why I'm singling out Tagira, but you guys, if you've won, if you played Skyrim, there's this spider that you have to fight in the first dungeon, and um, people, I think one of the first mods they released was a mod that replaced the spider with like a bear. <laughs> And it was like, it had no animations, it was just like this standing bear that would just slide all over the map. And, um, I don't know, arguably, I I think it uh, it was more creepy than the spider. <laughs> but, I don't know. I actually had a, had a spider experience today. I didn't know how it got on me, but I was freaked out. I I just came back from work and I went into my room to like check on the rats. I was just playing with them and I was done playing with them. I closed the doors and I look at my leg and there's a friggin' spider on my leg. And I went like, oh my god, what's going on? And I started like shaking my leg and stuff. And um, it didn't fall off. So I got um, I got even more agitated, agitated. And um, I just I just used my hand to brush it off. And I don't know where it went. And um, now I'm gonna probably have a sleepless night. <laughs> I mean, it was a. It was like this typical house spider, you know, those thin ones. So it's not that bad. I'm not scared of those that much. But if it's like the huntsman, I think they're called. Um, those scare the shit out of me. I just, I just, ooh, I can't even look on, at them. On your hand, you feel it walking. Shut up! Shut up, Takira! Shut up! If it was on my hand, I would feel it immediately because I'm so um, sensitive to stuff like that. A lot of the times, I just I just notice that something is walking on me, and it always creeps me the heck out. I just can't deal with this stuff. This is quite toasty, actually. Sorry, I had to burp. And I didn't want to do it to the mic.
Finally awake. understand why people who do ear massage on these microphones well not these but you know ear microphones um use oil to like lubricate their hands because this is rough it's like light if you want to massage it but then again um, I don't know about you guys but I honestly prefer it to be dry even if it's like a little rougher I don't really like those wet sounds too much like the oil stuff keep oil away from my ears please how much oil fits into an elf ear if you if you massage like an elf ear using oil you would have to bring like a bucket to to clean it afterwards it's not worth it safety elves <laughs> safety elves hashtag safety see it because like e eh is um because you read it as e eh when you use it um for like locations like um I'm I'm going to the station um eki e ikimas um I switch to Japanese I, I tend to I tend to go fully uh, fully Japanese Aka aka yeah. <laughs> hey. it happens it happens it's weird you know now on the footage on the screen it looks almost perfectly the way it looks um, IRL too it's like uncanny like the mouth and how it's um how close I have to be to the ear to talk to it like this but only works on the right on the left side the right side it's like a little see it's not it's not synced up well it's not bad though or is 
the head cam, we can see otherwise. I don't want to show you my real face. This is my real face. show your real hand I already did on last stream nonetheless there was a huge hand reveal I could see it was fake all over my hand lies years helps with like the realism of realism of the look oh my god trouble trouble you crazy son of a gun oh my gosh <laughs> thank you so much for the support oh my gosh you single-handedly pushed us to do the first 3d oh my <laughs> Oh, you're, you're insane. You are insane, Troublemaker. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support. <laughs> I get tired of tapping. Oh, oh, oh. My, mm, oh, mm. oh, no. You know what this means? This means that we have to... We have to do the ear noms. Mm. How do I... Uh, how do I? Uh, there we go. Okay, let's mark it. Oh, that's not gonna work. Maybe a few more. so much Trollmaker okay this is gonna be uh, it's gonna be a little demanding okay are you guys ready are you guys ready for the ear noms On this side, it almost look like it looks like <laughs> it really looks quite realistic here. Look. so much troublemaker you definitely gave me a gift today <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much glad you cleaned it yeah i'm really glad 
glad I cleaned it. I can't really talk while doing the ear numbs. <laughs> it's it's quite difficult. Even if I wanted to talk, <laughs> it just doesn't pan out. It sounds like I'm in the middle of like eating something. You know, that's Stacy. She's like, <laughs> it just doesn't pan out. sound like elf ears. I would numb on those. I could numb on those all night. Look at look at she's on my shoulder. She's like hell you're doing? <laughs> the hell you're doing? What are you doing, Elf? And I'm like, none of your damn business. Oh. Oh. I won't listen. I, I, I won't listen. I won't listen. Um, um, <laughs> I, I won't listen to my rat complaining to me about me numbing on ears, because they... Oh. Okay, that was a weird sound that my stomach just made. Ow. Okay, that's the second weird sound that my stomach made. Um, and the third one. Oh. You know what? I think it might be because I'm numbing. My stomach thinks that I'm eating something. <laughs> least the ear numbs make make me chuckle. <laughs> I will devour thy ear. Yeah, this is like ear numb ASMR if this was um if this was um uh, Final Fantasy dialogue. I shall eat I shall feast on thine ear. <laughs> oh my gosh, my stomach. Stop. Stop. ASMR burps coming soon. No. Those are nasty. <laughs> Those are nasty. Numbs are, are funny. Burps are nasty. Before 
age restricted. Sorry about that. What's so different from this to ear licking? Uh, did you hear? You could hear my my um my joints pop. What's so different from this to ear licking? You're still chomping with an with an ear inside your mouth. No. I I mean yes, you're chomping on an ear. The difference is in the name. You don't use your tongue. You just munch. You just munch on the ear. Well, ear mouthing. <laughs> yeah, technically, it's it, it's ear. Well, it's ear nums. That's why it's called that. Leave the name as it is. Let's not make it into anything weird. Oh no, burp coming. Oh gosh, that was a nasty one. No. What? No. I'm 
those are the are the garden things. Oh, that was a weird sound again. This time it was my throat though. And that was my stomach though. What's going on in my stomach, guys? Something weird is going on in my stomach. Sus, sus, yeah. I, I think I even, I might have seen you vent, honestly. So, um, I have one more thing try on these ears but I will probably use it for um for tomorrow which is gonna be the Mimi Kaki set ear cleaning ear cleaning what's with my accent I talk like I have a st um stuffy throat um a Mimi Kaki set um ear cleaning yes so I'm gonna probably do that tomorrow. And it's gonna be fun. I'll probably do that on next Saturday as well because like um tomorrow's stream is not gonna be archived. I mean it's gonna be archived on um here on Twitch. But the thing about fonts on is they get removed so after a while it will just disappear into the abyss so if you're watching this on YouTube there might be some streams that you haven't seen on my Twitch um, those are usually a lot more chaotic and a lot more stuff happens that's not very ASMR centric even if it's ASMR I kind of let go on those streams a little because on these ones I 
I'm careful not to stop doing triggers and um, the Saturday ones are a bit more unhinged. change the pitch of it. It just, it is what it is. It's dependent on the size of your tongue and your, your mouth shape. If you have a smaller mouth and a smaller tongue, it's gonna sound higher pitched. If you have a larger mouth, larger um, resonation chamber, it's gonna sound sounds like a that sounds like like a cat but like a cat dying or something <laughs> or like a like a like a like a tractor starting
about like the thing about those um <coughs> those actual ear mics is that they are very sensitive and mine is not so much I remember I watched like a video of just just tapping on the hand it was like you could clearly hear all of the sounds and uh, mine sadly isn't as um, as good with stuff like that does it that depend on the settings? Mm, no some extent yes but you you can only reach a certain point before you um <coughs> before you start just getting noise and a lot of noise and this setting i'm at right now is like the highest i can go without turning this into like a like an old cassette recording So, um, it doesn't deal great, because, like, um, it doesn't deal great with, um, what was it, what was I supposed to say, um, like, the dynamics. I could use, like, a compressor to help with it, but then it's not gonna sound too realistic. Oh my gosh, why is my stomach rolling? I really need to. All right, I didn't eat anything before the stream. I just ate a bag of chips. <laughs> okay, and then I ate. Uh, then I drank some yogurt. Yeah, that's not a good combination, is it? Okay, I think we know the culprit now. Flavor, chips or yogurt? Well, I guess I can say both. Um, I ate. Um, Lay's uh, green onion chips and um, strawberry yogurt. S um, they're good, not in combination, definitely. There was like a let's just make it, let's just you know. So, so you don't mis misunderstand. I don't just eat um, onion chips and like drink a strawberry yogurt to it. Um, it was spaced in time. It was like uh, probably like an hour in between those two. And Coke. Yeah, yeah, and Coke. And a monster energy drink. <laughs> I tell you, my diet today is dire. <laughs> it's not diet, it's dire. You can easily replace the T with the R. What kind of word would that make? It, it wouldn't make dire as in you know, the word dire. It would be like a di dire. Is, is there a word like that even? <laughs> I fail at English? That's impossible. <laughs> oh, no, it was me fail English? That's impossible. What can you do? What can you do? 
also, oh, we can have a, we can have a guest today. I'm holding my favorite Ram figure, and I'm gonna use her foot to to stroke your ear. You can imagine that that's um, Ram's foot. Okay, no, that sounds kinky. Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's forget that happened. <sighs> okay, don't use that word in chat. <laughs> it was a it was a foot massage, but the other way around. Massage foot. Job. No, it was not doing a, a job. Stop it. Don't be lewd in my chat. Thank you. We're gonna time you out. We're gonna, we're gonna go to the corner. You're gonna sit there and you're gonna think about what you did. I showed you more figurines that I planned to at first, and I still have a few left that I haven't showed you. So there is a possibility that I will I will be releasing like figure showcases um, for the next like month, <laughs> basically weekly, if I have the energy to edit it because. It's it's such a mess to edit. I mean, it's not difficult, but it's it's just so time consuming. It takes a very very long time to get through that. It's insanely insanely time consuming. I mean, like I mentioned, it took me it took me a good three hours to to make this 18 minute video and that that used like 30 minutes from the stream and the stream was two hours I'm, I'm just I'm just crying inside thinking about it <laughs> I don't know how, how I'm gonna manage doing that and if I do like another one of those I would probably want to edit it down as well and man I feel for if you are a youtuber if you are a youtuber I freaking feel for you my man or my woman or anything you prepare to be called like just just man how H how can you manage there are people who release videos daily they basically just record release record release record release <sighs> how how do you do that how do you do that i mean i know some people have like editors and stuff but jeez can you imagine 
imagine like editing every single day I mean I can't imagine myself doing that if it was like my job but man like when you start it's definitely not immediately your job and a lot of people started with daily uploads like um, I guess those are all big names like uh, Jacksepticeye or like PewDiePie they all started with like well they probably didn't start immediately I guess uploading every day but the like bulk of their content f came from the an upload a day uh, days and even two uploads a day sometimes it's just insane the amount of productivity and creativity and energy comes to that yeah it's it's insane I think it'll burn you out everyone burns out at one point it's too much work yeah like it's it's insane it's an insane amount of work honestly speaking but some people have like higher thresholds at which they break higher break points, breaking points and some more have lo lower ones so I guess it's like it depends I guess it just depends some can just handle the heat a lot better than others but everyone will at one point really good to just you know do what you're doing just just type it all over again just to remember how to write them but to remember them you have to use them you have to use them um, in context so if I were to suggest something you could look for simple manga or even like well I guess it doesn't really, really matter just just take a manga um, that's in Japanese like untranslated and you see all those fancy onomatopoeias in the panels the ones that get butchered in English releases <laughs> a piece, bad beef of mine um, they are all written in katakana so that's a good way to kinda learn one that you had for example yeah like if you could buy um, Yotsubato if you buy Yotsubato in the original Japanese um, I think it should be manageable um, I mean on, at your level it will probably be still a little difficult but they it's like if you check the words um, that you don't know you should be fine but you will be able to read all of it because it has furigana so those tiny hiraganas you know um, above kanji the one you had taken from the anime no please please don't remind me of that hype on the anime atrocity they, they did my favorite 
story 30. Well, one of my favorite stories. Um, I will probably show the actual original manga of Hypanaranmei one day. But we'll see. I don't know if people will be interested in watching art books and obscure manga. so much for staying till the end. You are my pock champ. My only pock champ. Feel free to um, subscribe and um, turn the bell or something. is is a rerun
Heartbeat kiss, Kisses Redeems. It's in English. Oh, we can check this out. We can check this one out. Oh, it looks fine.